everyone, I'm Irma and in this video I'll show you how to add a contact form to your WordPress site using Visual Composer. And first things first, to do that you will need a form plugin. And luckily for all of us there are a bunch out there on the market free and premium ones. Also, to make things a lot easier, we created special compatibility elements in Visual Composer for the most popular form building plugins. Let me show you which ones those are. To do that, let's open the editor and locate the Visual Composer hub here on the left and right in form. And here are all the elements. So the plugins are the following. Caldera Forms, Captain Form, Contact Form 7, Gravity Forms, Ninja Forms and WP Forms. To show you how all of these plugins work, in this video I'm going to create a simple contact form with each of these plugins and I'm going to add them to this layout right here. So you can see exactly how the forms will look with each of the plugin. Let me show you the final result here already so you know what we're going to create. Ultimately, it just comes down to what your preferences are and what your site needs. So, I've got all the plugins installed and activated already, so let's start! So, the first plugin on my list is Contact Form 7, and that's because it offers the least customization options. So, that's going to serve as our base for what content we're going to create. So, to create a form with Contact Form 7, Go to your WordPress admin panel and locate the plugin. It's here on the left with the name contact. Click on it and then click on add new, like any of the plugins. All right, let's add it a name. That's going to be contact form. And here are the fields that your form is going to have. As you can see, that's your name, your email, subject, your message, and the button sent here. I'm going to get rid of the yours here and I don't think I need a subject as well. It's a very simple contact form that we're going to create and I think we're done. So let's click on save here and add it to a page. To do that, open any page in Visual Composer and click on add new element. And let's look for contact form 7 and here's the element, add it to a page and here in the drop down just choose the form that we just created and it's added. What you can do in Visual Composer is you can adjust the column width here, you can customize it however you want. Let's preview the page. And here we go, that's how it looks. Just a simple, simple contact form. That was really quick, so let's continue. Next on my list is Ninja Forms. So let's click on Ninja Forms here on the left. Click on Add New, there's a bright button here. And as you can see, apart from the Contact Form 7, Ninja Forms offers some templates that you can choose from. But we're going to create a completely new one. So let's click on blank form and add some fields. So for name, we're going to need a single line test. Then we're going to need an email, paragraph text and a button right here at the bottom. So single line text, that's going to be the name and that's going to be a required field. The same with email, we can click on required field here and paragraph text so you can edit the fields if you click on them as you can see and that's going to be your message. All right, and we're going to change submit to send. So that's done. Let's click on publish, add a name. That's going to be Ninja, publish. So let's add it to a page, same as before. Click on Let's add the element. So that was Ninja Forms. Here's the element. And let's choose our Ninja Form here from the drop down. Here we go. And as you can see, it has added the name of the form as well. So let's get rid of that. Let's go back to the form, click on Advanced, Display Settings. And here's the Display Form Title toggle. Let's click on it. Click on Done publish 
and let's refresh this page here and here we go no name that looks much better now and we're done simple contact form with ninja forms here as you see the look is a little bit different but that's all up to you what you choose so let's move on next plugin is captain form so again let's click on it here the free version of captain form allows you to create three forms so let's click on new form and again it offers some templates and it offers for example quiz form that's not that common here so maybe if that's what she wants to create this is the plugin you'll choose but we're going to create a blank form for a simple contact form so same as before short text for name email for email and long text for message so if you want to edit any of these fields just click on them and let's give this a name and then our long text as well that's going to be your message and we've got a capture field here but we don't want it so let's click on no capture and here's our button let's give it a different name that's going to be send so there's one more thing that i want to adjust the name of the field should be on top of the field there like in the previous one so let's click on show layout options and we've got label placement here and let's click on top aligned you can make these fields required here again if you click on them all right and now let's check the settings themes to see if the title of the field is going to be displayed all right there's a theme here already and as you can see it's going to display the name of the form so let's choose a blank theme what that does is takes out all the styling and that's exactly what we want at the moment so that's how it's going to look so that's good for me <laughs> let's go back to our page so blank theme and click on apply theme to form all right and now to add it to a page same as before go to the page and let's find the captain form element add it to the page and choose our form from the drop down the one that we just made and here we go let's change this a little bit and we can add a little bit of a margin to this column here as well just to make it fit in a little bit better okay let's preview the page here here we go we've got a beautiful contact page ready all right now let's move on to the next plugin which is going to be caldera forms so let's open it here on the left same as with all the ones before click on new form here at the top and here we have some templates as well but we're going to use the blank form here add a name caldera and create form as you can see we've got a row here already so let's add a field with the plus icon here the first one is going to be single line text for the name so that's going to be name and that's a required field let's add a new row with email address email and a new one for the message so that's going to be paragraph text with the name your message and we need a button here as well and that's going to be send all right that's it for this form so let's save it and add it to a page once again let's look for the caldera element add it and here is our form that was simple again let's add a little bit of a margin preview the page and we've got our simple contact form here ready all right we've got two more plugins to go so now it's time to go for wp forms 
we've got it right here add new so let's add a name that's going to be WP form again you can choose some pre-made templates but we're going to choose blank form all right same as before single line text for the name email and paragraph text so the single line as you can see click to edit very easy to follow instructions here that's going to be name required as you can see you can change some options here so email is all ready and that's going to be your message so let's change the button as well you can do that if you click on it general here and submit button text change it to send and let's click on save now let's add it to a page same as all the other ones so plus sign wp forms add the elements wp form and here we go that's it that's simple the last plugin on my list is Gravity Form, and that's the only paid plugin that doesn't have a free version at all. So you will find it here at Forms. Add new. Let's keep the title Gravity Create. And let's start building. So, same as always, single line text. That's going to be our name. Just click on it to change it very simple and as you can see you can change the appearance right here already all right the next is going to be email that's here under advanced fields so email is right here oh i forgot to make it required okay same with email just to require check here and at standard fields let's give paragraph text that's going to be your message So to change the text of the button, we'll have to go to the settings, form settings here, and here's the form button. That's going to be sent and update form settings. And that's it. We've got our form here as well. So let's add it to a page. The plus icon, gravity form, and let's choose it from the drop down. All right, and that's our gravity contact form, but it's showing the title and you can change that in the edit window here, right in Visual Composer, just click on the toggle and that is it. Now that we've worked with all of them, here's a quick reminder of how they all looked. So here's Caldera Forms, Captain Form, Contact Form 7, Gravity Forms, Ninja Forms, WP Forms, and that is it. If you want to customize any of the forms, you can do that using CSS. And a reminder, you can add some local and global CSS to your page and the whole website here in the Visual Composer settings. And that's it. It's that easy to create a contact form and add it to a page. And you can do that for free as well. So hopefully this video helps choose the right plugin for the form needs that you have. So thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.